A Utah company is working on something that resembles a flying motorcycle using drone technology. The hope is that one day people could use it for their daily commute. Amazing. New specialist Mike Anderson has a look at just how this thing works and the hurdles they need to overcome to actually make it happen. Mike? Yeah, Mike and Denny, you know, you wouldn't be flying super high in one of these, just kind of enough to get over the rooftops and make a straight line to work. And yeah, there's a lot to overcome to, uh, to make this happen, but the people behind it believe that they can get there. We live in a time when inventions can be built at home. This particular machine has a continuous strand carbon fiber. Where 3D printers and machining devices help realize dreams. Not very long ago, this wasn't a reality. So uh, it's an exciting time to be alive. John Manning is taking full advantage. As a kid, I... I just always dreamed about flying airplanes. And he can do that now. I never wanted to do anything else. But why not take it a lot of steps further with something smaller? They call it a personal flying machine. This is something that is our real long-term goal, vision, is uh, something that's kind of like a flying motorcycle. As co-founder of Electrofly, Manning and his team designed custom drones like this one made for delivery. But their dream is to use that technology to make flying more accessible. Recreational vehicle is probably where this is all going to start. The FAA has regulations uh, that kind of limit the use of a lot of these products right now. It will have to be a very gradual process. So far, they've tested it using very heavy boards with hopes to try a very limited manned flight later this year. Eventually, he says, it will be fully electric. So we have a small jet engine down here that uh, allows us to offset the lifting requirement of the batteries. Right now, the power cells aren't strong enough to handle the lift on their own, but Manning believes they'll get there, and his team will keep on pushing. When people see it, they might, they might think that it's pretty out there, and it's just on the edge of crazy, but it's technologically possible. And right now, Electrofly is run out of uh, Manning's house, but they are moving into a larger space right now. And uh, the idea is to make these flying machines affordable, but at first they will be quite expensive, like around 400 grand for the first models. Back to you. Wow, Mike, can you imagine the possibilities? I'm just going to jet on up to the... Who need, who need to yeah. wait in traffic line for the ski lift? You just fly it's over. That's true. The Jetsons coming to reality. All right, thanks, Mike. <laughs> thanks.